Today I'm going to show you how to hand paint a custom cartoon character from scratch using gel polish and Sting Nail Co nail art brushes. So before you start with any type of nail art, you want to make sure that your nail is buff completely smooth. If there's any bumps or uneven surface on the nail, it's just going to show through your nail art and it's not going to look good, okay? You also want to make sure that you're looking at a reference picture just so you can make sure everything is looking how it's supposed to while you work. The first thing I like to do when I'm doing cartoon characters is the shape of their body. Once I have that shape down, I'm going to fill that space in and move on to the next details on the character, which is his eyes. So I'm using my liner brush to go ahead and create the long oval shape. And I'm just making sure that I get the thickness that I need as well as nice straight lines and that there isn't any shakiness. A good way to prevent shaky lines is by resting the pinky finger and the ring finger on the hand you're holding your brush with on the hand that's holding your client's finger. This is going to balance your hand and prevent shaking. Once I'm happy with the shape for his eyes, I'm going to draw his nose with the burgundy color. And now I'm using my gel paint from Sting Nail Co in the color white. And I have my thin liner again, and I am going to create the shape for his teeth. You want to make sure that you're looking at your reference picture to see exactly the shape that you're doing and the location. So I made sure it was not too close under his nose. I made sure that it covered his whole face and that the curve line was the same curve that's on the picture. Okay. Now I'm using my gel paint in black with the same thin liner to outline my character and add those details. Once you get into these fine details, this is where having high quality nail art products makes a big difference. As you can see, I'm using the very tip of my nail art brush to go in and fill in those very small details. You have to make sure that your nail art brush has a clean tip and not any frayed hairs. Otherwise, this is going to show every time you lay your brush down. You also want the gel paint that you're using for your details and your outlines to be a one coat coverage. As you can see, the gel paint from Sting Nail Co is one coat. You lay it down and it's there, okay? You don't want to have to go over things more than once or twice because this can start to cause your nail art to look bulky. So as I finish Mr. Krabs, I am continuing to look back and forth at my reference picture just to make sure that I'm putting all those details in the right place. If you don't know how to draw on paper or on a nail, and you're starting completely from ground zero, I would recommend that you purchase the nail art webinar that I have on stingbeauty.com. In that webinar, I go super in depth on how to draw on paper, how to draw on a nail, how to use nail art brushes, and a bunch of other information that is gonna help you be successful at nail art. So moving on to the other accent nail, I already went ahead and used my thin liner brush to outline the shape of his claw. Now I'm adding the dollar bill that he's holding in his hand and I'm basically just going around the red shape that I already created to make it look like it's behind his claw. Once I'm happy with the outline, I'm going to fill that color in and I'm going to just use a detail brush to clean up the side of that dollar bill. I'm using that thin liner and the black gel paint again to create the details in this design. And I'm using the same techniques as before. So like I was saying, I'm using a very light hand, just using the very tip of my brush. And I'm not laying the entire brush down, as you can see. I am only using the tip of that thin liner brush. And that's why I was saying it has to be a good quality brush because if the tip of your brush is too thick or if the hairs are frayed, every single time that you lay the tip down to create these small details, it's going to mess your design up. After every step, I am asking my client to put her hand in the lamp so she can cure the colors. If you don't cure each color in between, you will end up blending the colors together and then you'll have to go back and fix it anyway. So I just do like a 30 second cure each time I add a new color on the nail. After I'm finished with the nail art and I'm happy with how everything looks, I'm going to top coat my client's nails using my Sting Nail Co Gel Top Coat. This gel top coat is super shiny and it is definitely high quality. Like I always say, it's going to seal those designs in so your client's nails will look brand new after two or three weeks. Also, I want to mention this gold glitter is part of our 2021 glitter acrylic collection. 
and this is the color Oro. It's a super pretty gold as you can see. And here are some swatches of the rest of the winter acrylic collection. Make sure you use all the tips that I shared with you today to improve your nail art and subscribe for more content. I will be having a lot more tutorials and videos. Leave down in the comments what you would like to see me do next. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.